Hey guys, welcome back to the weekend wrap. Uh, two out of three wins for the footballers today, obviously a great result. In the 18s, uh, they suffered a loss today. Uh, North Ballarat, 10 goals, 1979 to Melton's one goal, six. The single goal kicker today was Tom Simpson with one. And in the best players, we had Bailey Mawson, Jai Wirehand, Christopher Jones, Harry Hanley, Tristan Peters, and Kyle Rogers. So we've got Jai here tonight. Uh, just tell us a little bit about, obviously it was a very disappointing loss today. Yep. Um, only the single goal right in the last couple of minutes of the game. Yep. Uh, just tell us a little bit about how the, how the game went for you guys and uh, what's the plan moving forward in the next few weeks. Plan moving forward, um, get the training probably Tuesday and Thursday, everyone on the track. And probably just ball use coming out of the back line from the kick-ins and the huddle. So, yeah. And obviously, mate, you uh, cracked into the senior side last week. Um, what was the message from Timsey coming back into the 18s this week about what you probably need to work on and, and what, you, what you're doing well, do you think, so far this year? Uh, probably just get back to the basics, like kicks, tackling pressure, running with the ball, and probably just voice, because obviously seniors is a very fast game. So, yeah, just using my pace. No worries. Well, we've got Jai here. Um, obviously, a very disappointing loss in the 18s. Hopefully, I can get on the board next week. So, well done, mate. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, mate. Cheers. On to the reserves now. Melton defeating North Ballarat City, 10-8-68 to North Ballarat, 5-4-34. Uh, the goal kickers today was Kurt Baker. He kicked four. Jake Buddigy with two. Jamie Rawlings with two. And singles to Brett Mary and Mark Farrar. In the best, we had Kane Wilson... Matthew Huckstep, Lockie Erickson, Jamie Rawlings, Kurt Baker, and Mark Farrar. So, we've got Silso with us tonight. Well done, Sils, on um, the great win and uh, best on ground performance by you. Uh, just tell us, first of all, how you thought the team went today. Obviously, it was a really good win. Uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was good, you know. The la la last week against the Bass, we struggled a little bit, but um, it was good this week. We got uh, Brock Kennedy come back from a shoulder injury. And then Huck, obviously, second game for the year. But um, it was just, we had a real, real strong defensive and just everyone just played their part and did what they had to do. It was just good to see the boys all get around each other and have a bit of fun with their footy as well. And just, yeah, it was just, our pressure was up, our skills were good. And yeah, it was just good to get the win and get back there. And now we're just out of the, out of the top six, so it was good. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just on yourself, mate, obviously not playing ones this week as you would probably like to, but uh, obviously a great response by you to come back and, uh, and play really well play really well in the reserve so how do you think you went today obviously best on ground but um, how do you think you go personally uh, yeah it was pretty devastating during the week getting uh, dropped but it, it is what it is you know and you can't suck about it and carry on you know I think I responded the best way I possibly could but um, yeah no it's, yeah like I said it's, it's devastating that I wasn't with the boys when we got the win today but it is what it is mate and just keep working hard and hopefully I get back in there soon well absolutely if you're going to keep playing like that mate you'll be in there no doubt pretty soon so well done today thanks Jay. Good stuff. All right, so in the seniors, uh, we got over the line today against North Ballarat, 7-15-57 to 6-7-43. Uh, the goal kickers today was Matt Denham with two, Liam Carter with two, Connor, Braden, Kite, and Mark all with one. And in the best players, we had Liam Carter, Ryan Carter, Matt Denham, Connor Griffiths, Ben Archard, and Riley Walker. Carts with us here today, the older Carts. Congrats, mate, on uh, the best on, and congrats on the win. It's, we're we're uh, very happy that you're back after the uh, after the injury. So just tell us um, how you thought the team went today, and a bit about how you went today as well. Yeah, I thought it was a good four quarter effort by the boys today. Um, it was a pretty important game in terms of our season. So I thought everyone played their role really well, and and yeah, really big win for the boys. So. And yeah, I was just—I think I was just lucky to kick, get a, um, kick a couple. I missed a couple early, so it was good, to, good to get a couple in the last quarter. And and yeah, overall, mate, just a really good win for the team. Yeah. And um, obviously, that fourth quarter was pretty tight. Um, they got a couple of goals early, and and we were looking to look like another close game. And losing losing another one, it could have uh, ended our ended our seat, uh, finals chances possibly. Um, what were you thinking at that stage? And how did you think the boys responded for that? Because I think uh, we did respond really well. So what was your thoughts on that? Yeah, it was tough. Like, we worked real hard all day. And then when they hit the lead, it, it would have been really easy for us to just drop our heads and just, you know, um, take the loss. But I thought we bounced back really well. Um, credit to the mids and the backs. Backs were awesome all day. I thought they just held up really well. 
and yeah, we just kept coming and yeah, lucky to just get over the line in the end. But yeah, credit to the whole team, really good effort. No worries, mate. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Yves. Hopefully we see you here for a few more games this year, but all the best with Williamstown as well. All of our best on ground players this week will receive a large pizza from AJ's. So thank you guys, AJ's Pizzeria, for, for the vouchers. And uh, we've got Redan next week at home, so make sure you come down and cheer us on.